Yes, sir. It is pretty fun to see your whole crew out here at the destination. Nice little cross country. Oh man, what a night. What a night, what more could you ask for? If I could bottle this feeling up and share it with the world, I would. Let me see if I can explain it to someone who hasn't been in the air. It's just this moment where the shadows grow long and the sun is setting and the layer of cool air next to the ground becomes very still. And the flight brings you great peace and control and joy. And you're surrounded by your friends in flight. You've accomplished a goal together and you're looking forward to a safe return and a moment to celebrate. I think that's it, that the entire flight is a celebration and it's just hard to beat. Let me back up a step. This past weekend, I had friends come out to the field to fly with me. These are people I fly with throughout the year and they traveled from all over the Southeast to spend a weekend together. We had five flights in just two and a half days and they ranged from the common flight to the magical ones. Let me share with you a taste of what went on and just those noteworthy moments. Woo. All right, guys, got a few people out here tonight. We're gonna make a cross country trip to Lake Twitty, about 10 miles to the southeast. The only trouble is we have very light wind and we have people launching in opposite directions. Here goes Shane. Here goes Brian. Take your time, bud. Perfect. So we got a bunch of guys up in the air. I'm thinking all but one pilot are in the air. And I want to start heading to the south. We're going to follow this uh, Highway 601 right here for most of the ride. I just want to make sure I have everyone. It's still a little bit thermic. And when it's like that, I tend to fly over green fields. Nice little cross country and uh, there are some areas around this lake without without landable options but um, right here we're fine a couple fields here and when we cross back over the other side of the lake there'll be plenty of outs but uh, now I'm already thinking about the ride home it's about 30 minutes here I have an hour to get home with fuel and I want to do something a little bit different hopefully take a slightly different route. What a night, what a night, what more could you ask for? Great weather, great people. Let's go, Will Fly.
So day one, we already had a great flight, but the very next morning, we had another flight that turned out to be everything we hoped for and more. A common condition that we find here in the southeast in the springtime is really light wind on the ground, pretty strong winds, just a couple hundred feet in the air. It's super smooth though, laminar wind, and so we did have to work our way into the wind, maybe just going 15 miles an hour as we headed out to the east on the morning flight here. But we're headed toward the Rocky River. Most of the crew stayed together and we were treated to an amazing flight. So we had been enjoying this flight into the wind for nearly an hour, and eventually it was time to head back. I gained some altitude, turned toward home and looked at Gaggle, and the app told me that I'd be home in just 11 minutes. We were flying nearly 50 miles an hour, perfectly smooth air. At that speed and altitude, it looked like you could see something on the ground several miles away and just swoop down and be there in a moment. That is a pretty amazing feeling on a paramotor, which already makes you feel superhuman. Big shout out to Dana and the boys for helping me with a couple projects around the place. Here we are guys, already got five pilots in the sky, three more launching, there's three other pilots we ought to beat in the air, we got Chris coming from Albemarle, Lindsay coming from Lexington, and Ryan coming from here in Indian Trail, so it's going to be a great time guys, it's going to be 11 of us, and I see a hot air balloon in front of us, that's the direction we're flying, so shout out to Austin from Lip Paramotor, let's go! This is kind of my mission tonight. I wanted to come out and check out this golf course. Not that there's anything here per se, but I knew we'd see a lot of cool things along the way. Look at this great property here. Uh, I want to cross the street here because there's a nice little section where I can fly down low, away from the power lines, and then we're going to jump over the power lines and cross the road, start making our way back. Yeah, based on Gaggle, we're about 20 minutes from home. Plenty of fuel. So, uh, let's just enjoy this flight. I'm supposed to keep up with everyone, but they saw a hot air balloon and started chasing shiny things. Dang, look at this pretty barn. Dip down low here. turbulence here because the ground is more rolling than where I fly typically. But then let's go ahead and climb. This 
See, this right here is an event space. And it looks like they may have something going on. I don't want to disrupt anyone. Yeah, buddy. What's up, Donald? Good to see you. Well, that's it for this one, guys. Great time was had. Always good getting together with this crew. Look forward to sharing the next flights with you.